I'm Michel Rouse, Chief Product Officer for FCM. Yes. I'm Daniel Senyard and I run the FCM Extension team. So we're seeing a lot of discussion in the market uh, around some of the new technologies coming out there and the big one that's been on everybody's mind right now is AI and typically chat GPT because they've got a lot of big splash of Microsoft behind them. So we're seeing a lot of people asking, what are you doing with AI? How can AI help me? So we're looking for generative AI, chat GPT, that sort of thing, to really uh, take on some of the menial repetitive tasks of our consultants, even of our customers, our travel managers. So really using it to give them superpowers to allow them to be more efficient, more productive, get to the right person or the right answer more quickly. So we can really understand the context of who they are, what they're trying to do, and help them achieve that quicker. One of our main philosophies around how to use AI is to make sure we keep the human in the center. We're not trying to replace, we're trying to like empower people. So it is giving them these superpowers to allow them to uh, remain at the, they're, they're, they're the source of information, they're in, in control. Uh, they're just using AI to make their jobs better and easier. And that, that's at the ethos of our whole technology strategy. At FCM, it's never been about replacing people. Our technology is always meant to be an extension of our people and help them service our customers better, more efficiently, more productively. So the way we've looked at it is really, uh, again, taking that human-centric approach. So where we see a lot of uh, competitors out there talking about AI, uh, it's always, you know, oh, just discuss with AI, ask AI the question, it'll respond for you. And they're taking the human out of it. And we believe that keeping the human involved in this process, whether it's through providing recommendations, whether it's through enhancing the work that a travel manager needs to do so that they're more productive, uh, allows us to get more out of it. So it's. Again, it's not about replacing people, it's about giving the tools for people to be better at their jobs. And I think fairly more broadly, um, we really are looking at our technology to sort of reach across and allow people to have the experience that works best for them. So whatever booking tool they're using, whatever the sites they're booking on, whatever their content is, if they care about sustainability or they're more focused on risk, whatever the case is, we want to have a tool set that allows them to access that right information exactly where and when they want it. So everything from AI to the browser extension, the FCM platform, we're sort of threading all those things together to allow companies to sort of pick and choose the best experience for them and their travelers. One of the things we say is, you know, uh, will AI uh, take my job? Whether technology, I mean, this has been a question going back years, will technology take my job? No, it won't. But someone understands how to use it will. So that's what we want to empower our, our, our people to have the superpowers they need. So a big focus this year is moving people onto FCM Platform. So FCM Platform now has gone through its pilot stages, initial stages, all new customers on it. We've got a big chunk of work to move our existing 7,000 some odd customers off of Hub and onto our two technology to get all of our benefits that we can provide. We'll also continue to enhance that. We've got things like approvals, uh, omnichannel approvals coming out. We're working on trip services, which can help amalgamate data both within FCM channels and outside of FCM channels and make that available through the platform, through risk management, and of course, a big push on extension and bridging extension and bringing extension into our, our technology ethos to, to enhance platform. We're also looking a lot at leakage as, as travel comes back more and more. It wasn't a problem during COVID at all. The problem was, you know, not, not, you know, people weren't booking anywhere, never mind booking on the wrong place. So now we're starting to see that creep back in as the sort of ever, ever present problem is that blind spot around leakage. So starting to spend some time looking at how we can solve that, whether it's through the browser extension or passing emails that come in so that we can capture data of flights and hotels that are booked off the OBT. Um, so we can give the travel manager the full view and perspective of everything that was booked in or outside of their program. One of the things that I'm very interested in is the sort of like VR, AR crossing, the, the sort of mixed reality experience where the augmented reality, um, with Apple coming out of the products, they, they don't take anything lightly. They're never the first movers. They generally move when things are ready, the technology is advanced enough. Um, and so I'm very curious to see the adoption of that. It could be an absolute bust at the price points and everything, but seeing with that, what that could do for productivity, workspaces, 
will you use a keyboard and a monitor in the future? So, so I think uh, that that's sort of like moving from virtual reality to augmented reality, and now the blending of the two, I think is very interesting. And I'm very excited how the uh, technology landscape is going more open. So the access, you know, APIs to access information, everything built on microservices, which allow much more interconnectivity, allows us to find partners to work with to enhance our solution, uh, allows pro uh, customers to build extensions and get more value out of our solution. So what we're doing is trying to build everything open so that we can share it, but also other technology providers out there are doing the same, which allows for a much more interconnected world. I'm very interested in the way AI is transforming so many industries. Basically, it's becoming the new user experience. So there's a lot of intermediaries in between the data or the content or whatever it is and the user. And so now there's a lot more interaction directly with the information that can be understood using AI. And that gets directly to the user of that. And so there's going to be a lot of disruption in a lot of industries where there's a lot of middlemen and, dis and sort of intermediaries that are going to have to work through their business models, think how can they keep delivering value if they know if their value is not bringing the data to the traveler. So all the, not the traveler, but the, the data to the, the user of the data.